Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. In a lot of my videos, when I have solves, I'll put a timer right in the video. And I, I've gotten a lot of people ask me, how do I do that? And I'll show you how I do that. And I use Final Cut Pro. I used to use iMovie because it was free, but I wanted to be able to do a little bit more. So you will need Final Cut Pro for that. There's nothing else needed though. There are a lot of add-ons and I'm sure there's really good timers you can purchase to have add-ons on there, but this is just right in the program. So I'll show you how to use that here. And first thing you need to do is go over to where you'll have text and elements and go down to elements. It's under generators. Now, the main thing I would use is this one that says counting. So I'll drag that here and I'll, I'll show you how I implement this. One thing I will suggest is to change the properties. And the reason is, is because if you don't, if you look down right below where I'm dragging, it'll show how many seconds, but then also the frames. And that's not bad at all. But if you go to preferences, you can change that to just show the seconds, which is a little bit easier to track. Now, it also helps to know how fast the solve is already. So I know this one is 10.6. Two. So what I'm going to do, I'm first going to find the beginning of the solve. So it's right about here. Let me drag that to there. Okay, so I need this to be about 10.62. And that'll be right here. 10.61 is close enough. And then over on this right side is where you need to change a lot of the settings. So this is not a timer. This is actually just a counter. And that's why you have to make sure that the actual length of your time here is correct because you could set it to anything. You could set it to where it's going to count to 10.62 within four seconds. So you want to make sure this is set. And in here, I want it to be number, start at zero. I want it to end at 10.62. It'll shorten it to 10.6, but it is actually 10.62. I want two decimal places, and I want zero minimum digits. That way it'll actually have that number, and it should end right where I need it to, right here. Now, I would like this to stretch farther, but before I do, let's make this look a little bit fancier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the color to I will say maroon. That's a pinker maroon than I would think it would be. But anyways, then we're going to distort it and we'll just adjust this a little bit so it's right on the wall. There we go. So I do want the number to linger a little bit. So once we get to 1062, which is a final frame, I will add a freeze frame and drag that out a little bit. So now, let me make this back to have it fit. We now have a timer. And it should stop right at the time we need it to, and then also freeze for as long as we want that to. So this works for pretty much everything, except if it goes over a minute. Because if it goes over a minute, it doesn't do one minute and so many seconds, it just goes to 70 seconds, 80 seconds, 90 seconds. That's all you have to do. Now, like I said, it doesn't work if you go past a minute because it's just a counter. There's no actual timer text app that is in or element that is in Final Cut Pro off the bat, at least at this moment. I will add some other stuff at the end to have it fade out. You can see right here, you can even just add in this element. That way it just fades out like that. But you can use that and if you want to go over a minute, you can use the time code, although there's some tricks with that. And honestly, I don't like the way it looks compared to how this one does. You can edit it, but not quite to the extent that this one can be. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more comments like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.